Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA podcast coming at you live from DCD, Virginia today. We are we are talking about the latest stories, trends and innovations with digital infrastructure leaders like John Day has been in the industry for quite a while. And we're excited to chat with you. Chief, Chief Commercial Officer with Clean Arc Data Centers. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us, John. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll dive right in. So Clean Arc was uh, founded relatively recently, all things considered. So could you tell Tell us a little bit about why the company was founded. Sure. So, so CleanArc is, as you said, a young, mm-hmm. new hyperscale data center development platform. Uh, and uh, it was founded by a fellow named Jim Trout, who uh, is uh, pretty well known in the business. You know, he was uh, the founder of Coresight. Uh, he was a digital realty trust in the early days and then found Advantage Data Centers. And a few years ago, Jim was looking around at the market, talking to other players in the market, and he felt like there were a couple things a couple opportunities that weren't really being addressed or weren't being addressed in the way that Jim you know, thought thought that, that might be more effective. Um, the hyperscale tenants uh, on whom we're focused were really looking for larger campuses to be able to have room to expand on the campus rather than being uh, you know, isolated to one or two buildings. Yeah. Um, so developing at scale, we didn't see a lot of that going on at the time. Um, second was tackling the renewable energy sustainability question. Um, Jim thought it would be uh, really impactful to found a data center company where addressing that renewable energy angle as one of the founding pillars of the business um, would help tackle that problem a little bit a little bit more readily rather than after the fact. Uh, and the third, there were a lot of companies out there that were doing some really interesting things with with modular manufacturing, um, and Jim thought that uh, whole concept could be extended further uh, into what he calls data center production instead of data center construction. Yeah, I love that data center production. So you've told us a little bit about why the company was founded. Thank you for that overview. It's perfect. Lots of uh, huge names in that overview. Um, And can you talk a little bit about um, CleanArc's kind of value proposition? What makes you all stand out? I think you articulate this really well. There's a few few points behind it. Yeah, and and so really because of those opportunities or or gaps that, that Jim saw in the market, um, no surprise that the, the, the main elements of the value proposition are built around those things and how to try to address those opportunities. Um, so the first, um, we are developing at scale. So we're looking for uh, large parcels in tier one or tier one adjacent markets within just a couple milliseconds of the closest network node or carrier hotel. Um, and we're looking for anywhere from two to three to 500 acre parcels where we can deploy, you know, three, 400 megawatts of data center capacity over time, again, to give our tenants the comfort that they can grow with us. If they like the site and they like us as operators, we want to make sure that we, we give them plenty of runway to be able to grow with us over time. So that's the first is to develop at scale. Uh, the second um, is that renewable energy angle. So uh, a lot of times that's getting addressed sort of after the fact, you know, how does the tenant uh, deal with uh, carbon offsets for the data center power that they're consuming on site? And so what we're trying to do is tackle that in advance where we're curating a portfolio of renewable energy projects. Uh, We're not developing them ourselves, but we're working with renewable energy developers to curate uh, a large amount of renewable energy in the service areas where we're deploying the data centers, where we're building the data centers. So rather than purchasing wind power from Wyoming to offset the carbon uh, emitted from a data center campus in Virginia, we actually are working with those developers to develop wind, solar, and, and other types of renewable, sustainable energy sources to offset the power that's being consumed on our campuses in that region of the country. So mm-hmm. it's what it's what the team calls true additionality, where, where actually there, there are new green electrons being brought onto the grid as a result of, of our development efforts in, in coordination with the development partners on the solar side, or on the renewable mm-hmm. side. So that's the second is, and, and then our, um, I should finish that off, our tenants then will be able to take that as an option to their lease. They're not, they don't have to, it's not a requirement, but if they if they wanna sign a lease with us, they, they know in advance they'll be able to take um, that same number of megawatts in renewable energy to offset what they've, what they've leased from us. So that's the second. And then the third is what we're calling uh, OSM or offsite manufacturing, OSM Prime. And, and again, there were companies out there that were doing really cool things in this area, Uh, But what we're trying to do is take that even further and 
manufacture large building blocks of the mechanical and electrical systems, the power and the cooling systems at offsite manufacturing facilities where you have a greater amount of control in terms of quality, testing, and then shipping those big building blocks to the data center site where they're basically just dropped in like big Lego blocks. Um, and it and it delivers a, you know a whole host of benefits I, I won't go into but um, probably the the most um, critical for for our tenants is speed to market so we think we can by doing this we can reduce the time to deliver uh, a building by fifteen to twenty five percent so we're not we're not naive or uninformed there's there's other great companies that are doing pieces and parts of these things or um, uh, you know, some that are that are kind of following or in the same track that we are. We think we're doing them in a unique fashion compared to other people in the market, and we think we're the only company that's doing all three under under a single umbrella. Nice. So, develop at scale, renewable energy, and offsite manufacturing, just kind of in a nutshell. That's yeah. right. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. So, um, and you know, just talking personally a little bit here, you've been in the industry for quite a while, like we were saying before, worked at a few companies over the, over the years. Um, so what makes you excited to still be in the industry today? What kind of keep, keeps you excited about being here? Yeah. Um, great question. So I, for me, um, it's, it's sort of a couple things. They all sort of tie together, but you know, one of the things that I think is really fun about being in this business is we're just in, we're at the end of the first generation of the data center business. So there's a lot of people who are in this business that we all work together at entry level positions coming into this, into this industry uh, 20 years ago when it was really, again, just sort of emerging as its own standalone asset class in, in the real estate business. Um, and so a lot of those people are, are still active today. They're, they're still at this conference. You know, we walk around, we see each other. Um, so it's it's an industry that's got a significant impact on the the national and the global economy, but it's a relatively small community of people, yeah. um, and and we're really, you know, a lot of us, a lot of people, a lot more than me, but are helping to sort of shape this this industry. That mm-hmm. again, you know, the software business has been around for. I don't know, 50 years, the banking business has been around for hundreds of years. The data center industry as a standalone business has, has really only been around since the, the late 90s. And a lot of us have been active in it you know, since then and, and still today. So um, so I think that is is one of the things I like most about it. And then just the opportunity right now. I mean, the, the, the demand side is just through the roof. Um, it's all we can do to try to find sites that have enough power where we can deliver uh, capacity to our potential tenants. Um, so it just, it, the, the opportunity right now, the upside and the opportunity is tremendous. And then the, the wonderful community that we have. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's such a good way of looking at it. It's a relatively new industry and there's folks who have been a- around from the beginning and it's, it's so exciting to be able to come to events like DCV Virginia and to meet up with those people. Um, that's I imagine. Right. So excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us on JSA TV. Again, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you viewers for hanging out with us here live at DCD Virginia today. Happy networking.